Hi everyone, I'm super excited to be here at PlatformCon and share with you everything you need to know about using CDK. But before we are getting started, let me give you a little background about myself. My name is Liav, I'm an engineering team lead at Firefly. And Firefly is a cloud asset management solution that scans the entire footprint of your cloud environment, SaaS application, and Kubernetes cluster and transform them into code in a click of a button. Firefly helps DevOps, SRE, and platform teams to regain control of their production environment using infrastructure as code. Today, we're going to talk about the infrastructure as code revolution and how it has become a core part of the development process. We will focus on the problem it can cause and how CDK can help us solve those problems and increase the productivity of your organization. The modern developer faces a lot of challenges while writing new components and introducing them to production beside the code itself. Some of them are mentioned here. The code should be written in high standard, fully tested, monitored, the application should be highly scalable and resilient, and of course, everything must be covered with infrastructure as code. However, have you encountered team members who just don't want to write infrastructure as code? Well, I have. I'm such a developer myself. So what do you do? Complain to your boss, of course. And as a team leader, I hear this a lot. Therefore, while trying to help those colleagues as fast as possible, I try to help with, uh, I have to help them through the DevOps team, except have you ever tried to do that? How many times have you succeeded with that? Probably not so often because they are the busiest people in the organization. They own so many responsibilities. Their backlogs are huge and they are always focused on the most urgent tasks. Usually no matter when you approach them. After being a, dev a DevOps engineer myself, I learned how complicated it can be to jump between day-to-day -day tasks and the constant maintenance backlog. So what are we left with? Infrastructure as code, as important as it is, can become a bottleneck. Today, I would like to share with you the solution we chose at Firefly as an organization that helps other teams to adapt infrastructure as code to reduce cloud complexity CDK TF. The world of CDK is growing and it's going to be a game changer for the entire industry. But let's examine how this industry has developed over the years. In 2006, Amazon introduced Amazon Web Services, AWS, cloud computing to the world. This release will change the tech industry forever. Developers are now able to, be, to focus on the business logic and not managing infrastructure, the infrastructure it runs on, making the deployment of new applications dramatically easier. However, with adoption comes complexity in the form of managing large cloud fleets. A new need was born, being software-defined infrastructure. It was clear that this new on-demand infrastructure needed to be defined as code. Recognizing this opportunity, Ashikop was founded and created Terraform. As you all know, Terraform is an open source infrastructure as code software where a user, a user define and provision data center infrastructure using a declarative configuration language known as HCL or Ashikop configuration language. With widespread community adoption and cont contribution, the provider's coverage and simplicity Terraform became the most popular infrastructure as code tool in the industry. It provides it provide the first unified infrastructure as code tool. Just like when AWS reached widespread adoption and required the management layer, the same is happening in the world of infrastructure as code. With the massive adoption, the ability to manage your infrastructure as code at scale became a growing requirement, and this is where Firefly comes in. We are there in order to help teams to adapt the infrastructure as code concept as fast, efficient, and in large scale as possible. It sounds perfect, isn't it? Not that so. As we said earlier, while developing a new application, the software engineer needs to complete a lot of tasks. The requirement of knowing and understanding the Terraform concept, the ATL language, was hard to fulfill and became a bottleneck. In 2022, Ashikop released CDKTF, which helped us to solve this problem. 
But first thing first, before any release, as developer, we wish to complete our task as fast as possible. So what? Uh, so if we want to create infrastructure as code, what we will often do is go online and search for a quick fix like Terraform code for EC2 instance. Or should we do it the modern way, asking the AI to generate it for us? Eventually, we are ended up with the same code. And that's not quite good enough. And why is that? Because we want our code to follow the core principles of Terraform. We would like to use variables to control our resources externally and make them mutable. We would like to use modules to avoid repeating ourselves. But the flip side of it is that it's just as hard to write good modules. One can say, leverage the community. That's true. There are a lot of good public modules out there. However, AWS, Google Cloud, and, AW, and Azure are not the only providers of Terraform. And for those other providers, the variety of modules is very low. In addition, not every application requires the same resources. So we can end up with a super complicated modules with so many variables and conditionals that make it almost impossible to trace and control infrastructure. So, we have to figure out we have to figure out how to use infrastructure as code and what will be our principle as developer what do we really want we want to manage our infrastructure with code no doubt about it but we want to let our developer focus on the stronger skill we want to write code according to the best practices whether it's an application or infrastructure code we want to make the developers aware of their own component infrastructure. Why? Because when things go wrong, it might be related to the infrastructure. And we have, we have to uh, understand that if our developers are not familiar with the infrastructure, we will have a mess. And finally, and most importantly, we want to reduce the overhead between DevOps and R&D teams. Do you happen to know any solution that can help us do so? CDKTF comes to the rescue. And CDKTF is a new tool by Ashikov that lets you write infrastructure as actual code. Yes, yes, seriously, I mean that. In your favorite programming language, without losing the built-in features and capabilities of Terraform. And that way, we can manage complexity through the abstraction. Each application has its own stack. And the business logic and the infrastructure code are combined together under the same repo made by the same developer. And that way, we can earn the independence of the R&D and increase the developer's productivity. Wow, so powerful. I bet you're wondering how it works. So in general, the CDK magic is quite simple. Firstly, you need to initiate a new stack like Terraform, then implement your infrastructure with your favorite programming language. Then it converts the code with the GSII. The GSII tool enables us publishing libraries in all supported, uh, in all supported languages from a single TypeScript code base. CDKTF uses the TypeScript types to generate an assembly file that GSII uses to generate the code bindings for other programming languages. And what are we left with eventually? Terraform configuration file. All we have to do is to deploy our, infra our infrastructure, just like Terraform apply. So easy. Now let's have a, a look at the CDK for Kubernetes. It's a CNCF project that supports multiple languages as well. It also supports custom resource definitions or CRDs. And it basically converts the infrastructure resources from your favorite programming language to pure YAML files, unlike the CDKTF that actually applies the infrastructure resources in the environment. In our case, it's a cluster. If you want to use a CDK that applies the resources, you can use the Kubernetes provider of CDKTF or just apply the generated YAML from CDK for Kubernetes. Now, let's have a quick demo that show, uh, that show us how we created a Lambda 
using an ECR image as a data resource. We're also creating an SSM parameter and we will see a CDK Kubernetes stack as well. So here we can see our main file. This is the main file of our infrastructure. We also have the application right here. I allowed myself due to our lack of time to already create the resources for us, but now let's examine the code. So in my main file, I'm creating a new application. And as you can see, it looks just like Terraform code. Here I define an AWS provider using data resources. I even can create a module call to external module written in Terraform within my Python code. Wow. Of course, I can create some locals and explicit resource definition. Here I define the Lambda function and pass the SSM ARN as an environment variable. You can see that the uh, SSM value is CDK is super cool. <laughs> and I create a Terraform output. Here uh, we decided to create an output for the Lambda architecture. We can also have validation funks, functions that enforce tags like here. We want, to, uh, we want to enforce everything has the default tags that we define, created by Python CDK. All we have to do is to deploy, uh, all that left to do is to deploy the infrastructure. I already do, I, I've already done this. So this is the TF state file. As you can see, a normal TF state file, just like we did in Terraform. The CDK converted the Terraform, uh, the, the CDK converted the Python to a native Terraform. We can see it here. And what we did was deploying this with a Terraform. So easy. Now let's examine the SSM parameter. Everything works. So easy. The CDKTF, as we say, uh, works a little bit differently. Here, I have a, another application, but and I define the Kubernetes service and the deployment. And when I run the CDK command line, it will convert the Python code to YAML. That's it. So simple. So it's a wrap. What we saw, we saw that CDK gives us all the Terraform capabilities in our favorite programming language. We saw that now we are managing the infrastructure next to the code, make it so easier to understand and control everything or every detail of your application. And now our environment is, pop up, is properly managed. Our engineers are happy. The DevOps teams is happy. Everyone is happy. My advice to you is whether you choose to manage your infrastructure with CDK ETF or not, is manage your infrastructure with code as it will help you when growing at scale. Thank you very much. And thank you for the opportunity. Bye.